Okay, so before we get to making up the fountain, we'll do a quick unboxing of the solar powered fountain pump that I purchased off of Amazon. I will share the link below. So this cost me $21 plus taxes and was available through Amazon Prime. So there was free delivery and I received it in three days. So the cord according to the product description is 2.7 meters long, which is a nice size. I should be able to set this up in my bird bath and find a spot to hang the solar panel not too far away. So this comes with six different uh, attachments to create different types of sprinkling. I am planning to just use something that is very low sprinkling. I basically just want to set this up so that it keeps the water moving uh, to kind of keep the water from getting too stagnant and create a spot for mosquitoes to lay their eggs. I find that a lot of these when you get them set up and they it is you know a very sunny day that they shoot up the water pretty high and if you have a lot of wind which we do here all the time it basically just blows all the water out of your bird bath and you end up with no water at the end of the day. So we will see once we get this set up out in the sunshine what kind of uh, water pressure it has and build our uh, water source for the for the bees and the birds and the pollinators kind of around that. So let's take it outside and get her set up. I'm here for this water source that I want to try and create for the birds and the butterflies, the bees, insects, is to try and create some kind of a container that has a good spot for the birds to sit so they can bath and also, you know, have some wet rocks that, um, you know, the insects and the bees and the butterflies can come and have a quick drink. So I'm just going to test out and see how powerful this is to start with. So this is basically the solar panel and this piece which has some suction cups. They don't work very good, I can tell you that already. But I'm just going to try and secure it under the water with some uh, some rocks. So I'll just show you kind of what the flow looks like to start with. So this is without any of the attachments and this is kind of what I would prefer to use because it's not spraying too far or too high and it's um, shouldn't scare away anything. And if you turn it away from the sun, it just kind of loops a little bit. So I'm assuming in on cloudy days, it won't be such a high flow on it. We'll just try a couple attachments here. I'll just show you how they work. So it comes with four different tops here that you can switch out. I, I've tried them and they all seem to kind of do the same thing. But once you put it on here, submerse it under the water. Put the solar panel in full direct sunlight. You can see how high it shoots up. So if that's the kind of feature you're looking for, that's great. I can see that in on a windy day that this um, water will all get blown out of my bowl here and you know eventually dry it out. So I really don't want a high uh, rising spray like this. I'm not going to use these features. I just wanted to show you what they look like. Full sun. And I'm assuming if it's a cloudy day, they probably won't spray a whole lot out. Let's see if we can just tone down this spray a little bit with some rocks. I'm going to try and secure it for one so that it doesn't move. I think it's just a matter of playing with whatever kind of rocks you have. I don't have very good rocks here in my yard. I have to go foraging to find some good rocks. kind of like to just block it off a little bit so it just kind of flows nicely over top of these rocks. It's very simple. But I can see, you know, the bees and the butterflies could come and just sit on these rocks, get something to drink. And the birds can land on these bigger bricks. So I'm just going to leave it like this for now. That was pretty simple. So when you're finding a spot to put your water source here for your pollinators and for the birds, of course you want to put it somewhere in your garden. And I've got it here in my potato patch and I've set it up near this 
post here that I have a bird feeder hanging on so that I have something to secure the solar panel to. So you want to make sure that you put your solar panel somewhere that is going to get the most amount of sunlight all day long. This uh, spot here may not get a, the early morning sunlight but it should get for the most part a lot of sunlight. Something like some twisty ties like this should work good too as well. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I just want to also show you a setup I have here with an electric pump in my bird bath that sits outside my uh, living room window. So I get to see a lot of great bird baths going on here and because I have power close to the house here I have an electric pump set up. So basically just the same kind of setup with an electric pump that I've covered up with a bunch of rocks just to kind of slow down the flow keeps the water moving, keeps the mosquitoes from laying eggs in here, and I get to see all sorts of uh, wildlife come and take drinks and have baths here. So that's pretty much it on how to set up a water source for your bees, your birds, the hummingbirds hopefully, maybe some of the butterflies and dragonflies will come here as well. So it's not really much to look at, but its purpose is solely to provide a good water source for all those pollinators so that they stick around in your garden and do their job and help you out with pollinating all your garden plants.